It seems like Donald Glover is everywhere at the moment, but how much do you really know about the man behind Childish Gambino? We have found some facts that just might manage to surprise you. Keep watching to see if you're a real Donald Glover fan. But first, make sure you're subscribed for more from the taco. Let's begin. What's in a name? Childish Gambino is a super catchy name, but what does it mean? If you don't know the deeper meaning of this name, that's okay because there really isn't one. Like many of us, Donald Glover couldn't resist a good name generator. He typed his full name into a generator that promised to give him a Wu-Tang Clan member name, and Childish Gambino is what popped out. Instead of sharing his name with friends on social media, he decided to use it to pursue a successful music career. It turns out that celebrities use the same time-wasting internet websites that we do. They're just apparently way better at it than we are. Behind the scenes, many fans of the show Community recognized Donald Glover from his role as Troy Barnes. But there was a lot going on behind the scenes as well. And Glover did more work than just memorizing lines. He actually wrote his own music for several episodes of the show. If you ever saw and enjoyed an episode where Troy was rapping, there's a good chance that it was written by Donald Glover behind the scenes. Many actors are known for improvising their lines, but writing your own music is incredible. Writing credit. Coming up with songs for Community is far from Glover's only writing credit. Although you might have only seen him on screen for brief periods of time, this amazing amazing comedic actor was working diligently behind the scenes of 30 Rock. He was discovered by none other than Tina Fey herself while he was still attending New York University's Tisch School of the Arts. Glover had created some short videos for an improv comedy group and Tina Fey recognized his talent immediately. Not only did he land a job writing for one of the most popular shows on television, but he did so at only 23 years old. It just goes to show that you never know when or where you might get your big break. Spider-Man Tina Fey isn't the only person to recognize the brilliance of Donald Glover. In 2010, fans decided that Glover would make the perfect Peter Parker in the movie The Amazing Spider-Man. They launched a massive social media campaign using hashtag Donald for Spider-Man. Even Spider-Man creator Stan Lee claimed that Glover would have been a fantastic choice for the role. Unfortunately, Stan Lee isn't actually in charge of making casting decisions regarding Marvel movies. Despite all of the people who were in favor of the idea, according to Glover, nobody from Sony ever contacted him about an audition. Stan Lee called Glover a terrific actor, but the part ultimately went to actor Andrew Garfield instead. Inspiration Even though Glover didn't get the chance to play Spider-Man on the big screen, that wasn't the end of his relationship with this famous web slinger. Comics writer Brian Michael Bendis created an African-American version of Spider-Man named Miles Morales. Although Bendis claims that he came up with the idea before the hashtag Donald for Spider-Man campaign, he admits that he loved the idea. When designing his new character, he took inspiration from Glover by watching him act on Community. In addition to providing inspiration for a new Spider-Man character, Glover also got the opportunity to voice him for the animated series Ultimate Spider-Man Solo. Being in a Marvel movie would have been undeniably awesome, but Glover is getting a chance to partake in another huge cinematic event. Like many people, Glover grew up watching and loving the Star Wars movies, and dreamed of adventures in a galaxy far, far away. Lando Calrissian is a fan favorite, and one of the few supporting characters who had not yet been included in one of the various Star Wars sequels or spin-offs. Although Glover is a big name now, he wasn't nearly as huge back in 2016 when he landed the part of Lando in the film Solo. Glover claims that it's a role he's always wanted to play, and considers it the highlight of his acting career. The Letter Whenever a famous actor abruptly leaves a show, fans can't help but wonder why. When Donald Glover announced that he was leaving during the fifth season of Community, many Many people assumed that he wanted to concentrate on his musical career, but the real reasons were much more somber. Glover shared some handwritten notes with fans, which showed that he was struggling with some personal issues. In them, he mentions feeling overcome with fear and helplessness, and says that he needed to concentrate on his independence. He also worried that creator and producer Dan Harmon would be angry at him for leaving, but it seems that it was quite the opposite, as Harmon invited Glover back for the sixth season of Community. However, Glover declined, and claimed that it was best that that his character stay gone from the show. Religion It's no coincidence that Glover's community character was a Jehovah's Witness. Glover himself grew up in the religion and claimed that it made him feel very alienated from everyone around him. But there was an upside to growing up feeling like an outsider. Glover claims that it forced him to view the world in a different way. He believes this led to him developing his particular creative outlook, which led to all of the awesome content he's created that we enjoy so much. 
high school. Donald Glover is a multi-talented performer and pretty much a modern-day renaissance man. But even in high school, people recognized his considerable talents. When his high school classmates were voting for superlatives, they elected him most likely to write for The Simpsons. Well, he ended up writing for 30 Rock, so his classmates weren't that far off. His parents wouldn't let him watch The Simpsons, so the compliment was a bit lost on him at the time. The younger I get, Glover's first foray into the musical world occurred when he was still attending Tisch School of the Arts. He self-produced an independent mixtape that he called The Younger I Get. The content was extremely raw, and Glover wasn't afraid to name actual people in his life and the tracks. However, his classmates weren't fans, and slammed the album as being far too confessional. But far from being discouraged, Glover ultimately agreed with their assessment. He admitted that his ramblings were far too raw, and claimed that he sounded like a decrepit drake. Ouch, that's some pretty harsh self-criticism. Sick boy. Glover took a brief hiatus for music to concentrate on writing for 30 Rock. But during the 2007 writer's strike, he found himself with some free time on his hands and put together an album called Sick Boy. Although it was released under the name Childish Gambino, Glover was playing around with different monikers. According to Glover, this album was him playing around with different things and trying to find his voice. The album turned out to be less personal than his later albums, although his style and collaborations would carry on to his future projects. Labels Something that separates him from other artists is that he isn't looking to label himself. Many rap artists are hungry for success in their chosen medium, but to Glover, rap was just something that he enjoyed. It was something that he did when he wasn't writing or acting. And although he enjoys it, he wouldn't label himself purely a musician. Glover claims that he has spent his whole life being labeled as one thing or another, and he's had enough of it. He claims that his goal is to create great content, not worry about what people call him freaks and geeks. Now that he was well into creating music, it was time for Donald Glover to put together his very first music video. He selected the track Freaks and Geeks from his EP titled Be Alone. To create it, he reached out to his old friend Dan Ekman. The two had worked together in Derek Comedy, the internet sketch comedy group that helped Glover get discovered way back when by Tina Fey. The song was such a hit that it was later used in an Adidas commercial featuring basketball player Dwight Howard, I Am Donald. In 2011, Glover commenced his first nationwide tour, which he called I Am Donald. The tour was a one-man live show that incorporated rap, comedy, and video segments, all created by Glover. He started off each performance by announcing that it was his show and he was allowed to do whatever he liked. Not only did he put together an impressive show, but he put together a pretty relentless schedule. Glover made 25 stops in just 34 days, which is a pretty breakneck pace. He started out in Ames, Iowa, before ultimately ending up in in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This tour was an epic way to show people all across the country that there is absolutely nothing that Donald Glover can't do. Because the Internet. Glover's second studio album was called Because the Internet. To record content for the album, Glover rented a mansion owned by basketball player Chris Bosch. The album ended up as number seven on the US Billboard 200 and received a Grammy nomination for Best Rap Album. Collaborating with other successful artists and putting together a popular album would be enough for many people. But Donald Glover isn't most people. He also wrote a 72-page screenplay designed to go along with the album. It's just classic Glover to go so far above and beyond. Secret Track Speaking about Glover being a bit of an overachiever, he really made fans work for one of his secret tracks. He hinted that there was a secret track lurking somewhere on the internet, but it wasn't easy to find. You would have to listen to a remix of the song 3005 from Kauai EP. To get the lyrics, you would have to go to Glover's website and track down a song called 3005 Beach Picnic Version. It's no secret that Glover puts a lot of work into his projects, so it's not totally out of the line for him to expect his fans to work hard as well. Far Cry 4 it seems like everyone wants a chance to work with Donald Glover, and that includes Ubisoft. They recruited Glover to lend his considerable talents to the game trailer for the game Far Cry 4. The trailer ended up using his song Crawl off the album Because the Internet. The song ended up fitting the game perfectly and made the trailer a huge hit. Glover even makes an appearance during the trailer to discuss the song. Michelle In the realm of celebrity relationships, Donald Glover might be the most secretive one of all. We know that he is involved with a woman named Michelle, whom 
Glover refers to as his partner. However, nobody knows if the pair are married, which has caused no shortage of speculation. As for Michelle herself, she's also a mystery since her personal and professional backgrounds are unknown. Glover isn't big about talking about his private life, but he did thank her as a part of his 2017 Golden Globe speech. He took home the award for Best Actor and thanked both Michelle and his son. Children There are some celebrity parents who will happily sell photos of their children to the tabloids. Donald Glover is definitely not one of those people. In fact, he rarely ever talks about the fact that he has children, and most people don't realize that they exist. In 2016, Glover and his partner Michelle welcomed a baby boy into the world. In 2017, they finally got around to telling people that he exists and his name is legend. In January 2018, the couple welcomed a second son, and that's pretty much all that we know about the situation. Glover claims that his children have changed his outlook on life, but admits that Michelle does all the hard stuff when it comes to them. Criticism Celebrities have a lot of money and fame, but that doesn't mean that they are immune to negative emotions. Glover has admitted that he tries not to read people's feelings about his work online, because he's very sensitive to criticism. Glover's piece, This Is America, generated a ton of buzz, but he couldn't stand to look at any of it. He admitted that if he sees someone posting negative reviews of his work, he just can't resist the urge to creep their online profiles. While we can relate, it's pretty funny to think of a celebrity doing that sort of petty thing. So if you ever post a scathing review of Donald Glover, he'll be judging your Instagram selfies soon. Have you ever used the Wu-Tang name generator? Drop your results in the comment section and then click subscribe to get more videos from the taco. Thanks for watching.